our call for voting rights and living wages and police reform and health care and climate are not wrong, they are right. And they really are the only thing worth spending our lives for. If you're still alive in the, in the midst of COVID, then you ought to use every breath you have to change this nation. We made a decision in Afghanistan 20 years ago wrong because too many didn't have the courage to say no. We can't make that mistake now when it comes to saying no to those that want to take our country back. And if we don't do this work, I fear for this nation. But we will do it. We have to do it because we refuse to give up on the possibility of America. These demands of justice are non-negotiable and they cannot be watered down. There is no moderate position when it comes to justice. And that's why we come together. We work together. 58 years ago, black women weren't allowed on this stage. But 58 years later, they're leading this stage. 58 years ago, they didn't have Latinos on this stage, but today they are. 58 years ago, there were no white main speakers, but today they are. There were no brothers and sisters from Appalachia and Alabama. There were no LGBTQ folk on the stage openly. There were no native and Asian, but today they are because we must come together. We must build a movement together. We all are being attacked by the same forces, Mark, the same people that are against black folk, are against Latino folk, are against women, are against gay people, are against Asians, are against voting rights, are against health care, are against living wages. And if they are cynical enough to be together, we got to be smart enough to come together. And so I close the day by saying there's power in coming together. During the slavery, it looked like slavery had won. But when Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass got together with some white Quakers and some white evangelicals like, like William Lord Garrison, they tore slavery down. Women didn't have the right to vote. But when Sojourner Truth, a black woman, got with Lucretia Mott, a white woman, they marched together in the streets of this city and they won the right to vote. It looked like monopolies would have the last word. But at the turn of the 20th century, when multiracial coalition decided it was time to gather, come together, white and black labor people came together and won labor laws. It looked like Jim Crow had beaten down injustice, but then Rosa Parks and Martin King and a gay guy named Bayard Ruster and a black woman named Fannie Lou and another brother named Bob Moses got together with white folk like Glenn Smiley and Jonathan Davis and Viola Lewusa and James Reed and they tore Jim Crow down. In the 19th century, when poor white farmers and formerly enslaved people got together, they built the first Reconstruction, a fusion movement, and won the 14th, 15th Amendments to the Constitution and the Civil Rights Act of 1875. And I must tell you, as I make my way to North Carolina, they told me I might never walk again. But when the prayer warriors got together, and the doctors got together, and my family got together, and, and my faith got together, and my swim coach got together, I can jump now. I can walk now. There's power when we come together. And so, y'all, let's come together. And if we come together, God will help us. The Spirit will help us. Tamika, the ancestors, will help us. And the whole nation will thank us. And generations yet born will call our name. Let's come together. Black and white and brown and native and Asian and young and old and gay and straight and Christian and Hindu and Muslim and Jewish and even persons who don't have a religious faith but they believe in the moral arc of the universe. Together, until the poor are lifted. Together, until the workers are paid. Together, until the sick are healed. Lord, help me here. Together, until voting is guaranteed. Together, until unmerciful house evictions are stopped. Together, Together. until police killing is stopped. Together. Together, until land and water is not pausing. Together, Together. 
until war is not pushed and promoted and promulgated. Together, until humanity is respected and children are protected and civil rights and labor rights and human rights are never neglected. Let us be together until these things are actualized. Let us never be satisfied. And if we come together, if we work non-violently together to change this nation, we will change it. And there will be something said about our work. When we all got together, what a day, 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 what a day of justice it will be. When we all get together, what a day, what a day. What a day!